Hey there! Welcome to Pinay Boss Mom Channel. I'm MJ. I am a mom, a fur mom, a wife, and I'm an owner of an event, wedding and events planning business called MJ Weddings and Events. And I am also a virtual executive assistant for Athena Executive Assistants. My channel is all about how to be a successful virtual executive assistant and how to start a purely work from home freelancing career. I also share some tips and content about being a mom, a wife, and being a business owner. So if you'd like to know more about those topics, just subscribe here on my YouTube channel and hit that notification button so you can get notified whenever I upload new videos. You can learn more about me through my TikTok, my Instagram, and my Facebook page. I will put all the links to my social media accounts in the caption down below. So this video is part 3 of our Google Calendar tutorial. For this video, I will give you more scenario-based samples of what I do whenever I receive messages from my client and how I convert that into calendar management. As always with my tutorial, this can be interactive, meaning you can pause this video anytime so you can follow me while you're doing the same things that I'm currently that I will be doing throughout this tutorial. Just make sure that you're using a desktop or a laptop when you do all these features with me because some features don't work if you're only using a phone or an iPad. After this tutorial, you can definitely add Google Calendar and Google Calendar Management as one of the tools that you know and one of the skills that you're an, kind of an expert on. And once you feel like you're already equipped with all the skills to help you become a successful virtual executive assistant, you can definitely apply where I also work here at Athena Executive Assistants. What are the qualifications if you want to apply as an Athena Executive Assistant? You must be 18 years old and above. You must live here in the Philippines kahit saan dito sa Pilipinas kahit sa ang province. As long as you are here in the Philippines, you can apply. You need to have your own equipment, PC or laptop. The specs, I will have it in the caption section down below. You must be willing to work the graveyard shift full time. That means 8 hours per day. 160 hours a month. You should have your own internet with at least 10 Mbps in speed and you need to know the basics of Gmail, Google Calendar, Google Workspace. Within Google Workspace, you have Google Sheets, Docs, Slides, and Forms. Stay up until the end of this video and I will tell you kung ano ba ang benefits at kung ano ba ang income, malaking income, na makukuha mo if you apply or when you become an Athena Executive Assistant. As I mentioned, this is part 3 of our Google Calendar tutorial. So if you haven't watched part 1 and part 2, I will link them up here and I will also link them down below so you can watch part 1 to end this video part 3 of our Google Calendar tutorial. So without further ado, let's start our tutorial. So for this last part of our Google Calendar tutorial, we are going to discuss three more scenarios. And before we go into the scenarios and the sample emails, let me just introduce our client. So our client's profile is he lives in Griffith Observator Observatory, Los Angeles, California. So ang time zone niya don is Pacific Standard Time. So now that we know our client's profile, let's start with our first scenario. We're going to call this scenario regular in-person meeting. So your client sends you an email and he says, Hi Mia, I have a meeting with Paul on Tuesday at 11 a.m. at Nobu Malibu. Please send him a calendar invite at mj.athenago at gmail.com. Thanks. So, Tuesday natin is February 15. Ang oras niya, it's 11 a.m. Makikita niyo dito sa gilid, naka-PST tayo. Ibig sabihin, naka-Pacific Standard na to. If you want to learn how to set this setting up time zone sa iyong calendars, just go to the first part of our Google Calendar tutorial. So, since sabi ni client, he has a meeting with Paul on Tuesday, 11 a.m., kiklik lang natin itong 11 a.m. 
click on that and then lagay nyo lang meeting with Paul at Nobu. And then open nyo yung more options. Okay. And then since in person tayo, ibig sabihin meron niyang specific location which is yung Mo Nobu Malibu. So kapag nag-search tayo, madali lang yan. Parang nag-search ka lang through Waze or Google Maps. You just go to yung add location field and then search for type nyo lang Nobu. Ayan, lalabas na siya. Nobu Malibu. Okay, there you go. And then sabi din niya that we are going to add si Paul and Paul's email is mj.atinago at gmail.com. So, enter. Ayan. So, invited na si ating guest who is Paul. Okay. But hindi lang dito, actually pwede mo nang i-enter to or pwede mo nang i-save to. Pero syempre, meron tayong mga additional information na ilalagay. Which is ang pinaka-importante kapag ikaw ay isang virtual executive assistant, ilalagay mo yung traffic forecast or yung map for the day nung trip nila. So paano mo makukuha yung traffic forecast na yun? You have to open Google Maps and then dito sa... Search, di ba? Ang sabi natin, meron tayong dalawang points. Nakatira si Paul sa Griffith Observatory and then pupunta siya sa Nobu Malibu para dun siya kakain. So, dito sa search ng maps, hanapin nyo lang si Griffith Observatory. Click nyo yun. And then, dito sa gilid, makikita nyo meron directions. Just hit directions. Interchange nyo lang tong arrow na to para manggagaling tayo sa Griffith. And then, search for Nobu Malibu. Ayan. So, meron na tayo. Basically, 42 minutes kapag mag the drive. Pero that's not enough, di ba? Kang alis natin is kailangan Tuesday, 11am na doon na tayo. So, paano mo malalaman yung traffic forecast niyan? Dito sa baba, meron ka makikita yung leave now. Just hit on the button. And piliin mo yung arrive by. And then, kailangan nandun siya by 11 a.m. So, hanapin natin yung 11 a.m. And kailan yon That would be on Tuesday, Feb 15. So, Feb 15, Tuesday. And then, ayan. Sasabihin na niya sa'yo kung anong oras ka dapat umalis kapag na-click mo na yon Kasi bibigyan ka niya ng tra traffic forecast for that day. So, pag sinabi that kailangan mong umalis ng 9.35 a.m., take note of that time. Okay? So, babalik ka sa calendar mo. And then, di ba nung una, 11 a.m. yun nilagay natin kasi 11 a.m. yung lunch nila. Pero, since sabi sa map, 9.35, kailangan umaalis na si client. Palitan mo ngayon yung oras na to 9.35 or 9.30 para sigurado. And then, palitan mo yung arrival niya to 11 a.m. Okay? And then, once na okay na yung oras mo, i- Balik ka dito sa Google Maps, highlight mo yung URL, copy mo yung URL, and then sa notes ng Google Calendar mo, type mo lang na map and traffic forecast link. Ang hirap mag-type ng mag-isa yung mag isang kamay. Link here. Tapos highlight mo yung link here. And then click mo itong insert link na button. And then i-paste mo dyan. Diba? Kinapin mo na yung URL sa Google Maps. Paste mo lang yan and then hit OK. Ayan. So every time na yung open ng client mo tong link na to, bubukas siya dito sa Google Maps na may traffic forecast. So after nyan, since na-invite mo na siya, just click on save. Don't send muna kasi sample lang naman. Ayan. And then, nandiyan na yung iyong event. So, meeting with Paul at Nobu. But since, di ba dadating siya ng 11, so kakain pa naman sila doon. So, bigyan mo siya ng 1 hour. Since 1 hour yung, yung kain nila, click nyo lang tong dulo. Hover nyo yung mouse nyo dyan. Tapos, lalabas yung double arrow. And then, drag nyo lang pababa. Ayan. Tapos, don't send lang. Okay. So, from 9.30, kasama na kasi yung travel, travel time dyan. So, 9.30, dadating siya ng 11, 11 to 12, kakain sila. Okay? So, kung gusto mo naman malaman kung ilang hours pa uwi, may travel time ka papunta, dapat may travel time ka din pa uwi. So, i-switch mo lang tong location. And then, palitan mo yung oras ng depart at. Yan. 
So hanggang 12 o'clock sila, ba diba? So palitan mo lang yung oras ng 12, alis sila ng 12. So nakalagay dyan, dadating ka sa bahay mo ng 1.20pm, sasabihin na niya sa iyo yun. So ang gagawin mo lang ulit, idadrag mo lang ulit yung um, event. So 1.20 Okay. Sabihin mo ng 1.30. So, just go to the event, hover mo lang ulit, and then click drag down hanggang 1.30. Ayan. So, there you go. You already have your meeting, in-person meeting with Paul sa Nobu. So, ganun lang naman siya kadali. That's our first scenario for this tutorial. So, the second scenario is about flight details. It kailangan nakalagay sa calendar niya kung ano oras dapat siya nasa airport, how long the flight is, and what time siya dadating dun sa destination niya. So the email goes, Hi Mia, I have a flight to San Francisco on Wednesday and back on Friday. I'll be staying at Marriott Marquee in San Francisco. Here are the ticket details. So, lalagay muna natin yung departure from LAX papuntang San Francisco. Sabi niya, 10 a.m. ang flight niya or ang alis niya sa L.A. So, click niya lang yung Wednesday, February 16 ng 10 a.m. Okay. Click on more options. Tapos, lagay niya lang flight from L.A.X. to oops, SFO. So, yun yung mga shortcut ng mga airline. So, saan ba siya manggagaling? Sabi niya, Terminal 2 ng LAX. So, sa location, lagay niyo lang LAX. Lalabas naman na sa search yung terminal number 2 and just choose that. Okay. And then, ilalagay niyo syempre yung mga flight details na sinabi niya. Okay. So, make sure na lahat ng details nandyan sa kanyang notes. Arrival niya is 11.30 a.m. So, choose that 11.30. That's one and a half hours. And then, okay na siya. We click on save. So, ayan na yung flight niya from 10 a.m. to 11.30. We have to make sure na ini-include din natin yung travel time niya papuntang airport. We have to be at the airport ng two hours before the flight. So, he has to be at the airport ng 8 in the morning. Okay? To make his 11, sorry, 10 a.m. flight. So, pupunta ulit tayo sa Google Maps. We all know that our client lives in Griffith Observatory. So, let's just click again directions, interchange, and then choose LAX terminal number 2. Test driving siya. So, that will be 30 min 32 minutes. Remember, ang flight na is on Wednesday the 16th and he has to arrive there by 8. So, let's choose arrive by 8 a.m on the 16th Wednesday. There. Sabi dito, kailangan umalis siya by 6.45. So, piliin natin yung 6.45 dito sa ating map or around that time. Okay. And then, it should be 6.45 and the time should be 8 a.m. kasi yun yung oras na dapat mag-arrive siya. And then, lagay lang natin ulit yung LAX Terminal 2. So, let's just hit on Save. And then, ayan na siya. Leave for LAX na siya. So, kailangan meron din tayong from the airport papunta dun sa hotel niya. So, babalik lang tayo sa Google Maps natin. And then, let's search for SFO Airport. SFO. Ayan. And then, let's hit on Directions. Reverse lang natin siya. And then, let's search for Marriott Marquee, San Francisco. So, let's choose yung Depart at. 11.30 in the morning. Piliin lang natin yung oras ng 11.30 in the morning on Feb 16, Wednesday. Yan. Okay. So, based on the forecast, ang arrival niya sa kanyang hotel will be at 12 p.m. So, copy lang ulit natin yung URL so we can paste it sa kanyang um, calendar details. And then, click lang natin itong part na to. Click on more options. And then, from 11.30 a.m., dadating siya ng 12 doon. So, edit lang natin siya. 30 minutes lang ang travel time. Siyempre, ang location, let's never forget. Search lang ulit natin. Marriott Marquee San Francisco. There you go. And then, of course, key. And then, let's highlight 
hit that insert link button, paste the URL, and okay. There, and let's hit save. Ayan, so meron kompleto na tayo. Next naman natin would be yung pabalik niya. Click lang natin yung ginawa natin flight from LAX to SFO. Hit nyo yung three dots na yon and duplicate. And then let's change the date to Feb 18 kasi Friday. Tapos palitan din natin yung oras ng 1pm since yun yung oras na aalis siya ng San Francisco. Tapos ang arrival niya sa LAX is at 2.30pm. Automatic naman na yan na mag-update mag siya since pareho lang naman yung hours ng flight na one and a half hours. And then palitan nyo lang tong title nyo. It should be SFO naman to LAX. Palitan nyo rin yung location kasi pupunta siya sa SFO airport instead of the LAX airport. And then let's change the flight details. And then hit on save. So okay na tayo sa flight niya babalik ng LAX. Insert din natin syempre yung travel time niya from his hotel going to San Francisco airport. All we have to do is we are just going to duplicate. Ang i-duplicate natin itong travel to hotel niya kasi pareho na ng location. And then just duplicate all the information. Alam naman na natin kung paano mag-duplicate. And then change lang din all the information. And then that's it. That's how you duplicate. Based on his email, ang flight niya is 1 p.m. So kailangan 2 hours before nasa airport na siya. That should that would be 11 a.m. So, change nyo lang lahat ng information. Change nyo to arrive by. And then, change all the times ninyo. Double check nyo yung mga oras. Kasi kailangan natin i-copy yung mga oras na yan. Just pause this while you're watching. So, you can follow the steps. Of course, we'll change our title. We'll change the location where we're going. And then, we remove yung existing link. Para we can copy the current Google Maps link. So, copy-paste nyo lang dun sa pag-highlight ng link here. And, what's it? Click OK. Should be Feb 18 Friday. Hit on save. There. Okay. So, since meron tayong papunta ng airport, meron din dapat tayong pa sa kanyang bahay. So, ito naman yung ating E or i-duplicate na event. Kasi ito yung may address niya ng bahay niya pa -uwi. Ganun lang din, click on duplicate, change all the information, change the location, change nyo yung title ng event, change the time, change the dates. You can pause this to you so you can follow. We go back to Google Maps. Hit natin tong reverse since meron naman na tayong LAX to Griffith Observatory. So, ganun ulit gagawin natin. Papalitan natin do depart at kasi magkagaling tayo ng airport pa uwi. And then, just make sure na mapalitan nyo yung oras. Make sure na tama yung oras na ilalagay ninyo. And then, copy-paste lang ulit yung ating Google Map link. And then, gawa lang ulit kayo ng entry na Map and Traffic Forecast. Highlight the link here. And then, copy yung Google Map link. And then just hit OK after. That's simple. And then, syempre, once na nalagay mo na lahat ng information, you just have to click on Save. And then you will see it already in your Google Maps. So this is our second scenario. Okay, so for our last scenario, we have to clear out our calendar. This is going to be a little bit complicated. Ang title ng scenario natin is Flight with Different Time Zones. Okay, so the email goes, Hi Mia, I have a flight to Madrid, Spain on Monday and I'll be back on Friday. Here are the ticket details. Departure from LAX is 9 p.m. Flight details. Arrival in Madrid, Spain is 2 p.m. Plus one. Ano ba ibig sabihin ng plus one? Makikita niyo sa mga ticket kapag international flights or long haul flights yung plus one. Ibig sabihin, yung date ng dating niya sa Madrid will be the next day already. Kaya may plus one. Okay? That's how it goes. Makikita niyo mamaya. Okay. Next, yung going back naman niya, departure from Madrid to LAX is 12.20pm. Arrival at LAX is 4pm. And the details are there. Thanks. Okay, so we know 
Again, our client lives in Griffith. Observatory is going to LAX. We're not going to include travel times here sa scenario na to since alam na naman natin kung paano gawin yun. So I'm just going to show you yung pinaka-importante part for this scenario is yung different time zones. This is an important feature ng Google Calendar that you have to make use of especially when it comes to international flights. So, let's hit on departure LAX on Monday at 9pm. So, puntahan natin, that would be February 14, Valentine's. Let's click on 9pm. And let's choose more options. And then just change the title of your event. Now, sa oras, ito yung kind of complicated. So, we have Feb 14, 9pm. Since we're crossing time zones, you have to click on time zone. And then click on this box that says use separate start and end time zones. And then pwede ka nang mag-edit dito. Okay? Mahirap hanapin yung Madrid. So just control F. It's lalabas dyan. Just type Madrid. Enter. Yan. Lalabas na. Let's choose Central European time. And let's hit OK. Okay. So, yung 2 p.m. na sinabi niya na nasa ticket niya is already the local time sa Madrid. So, ibig sabihin, dadating siya ng 2 o'clock Madrid time already yon. Ganon lahat ng tickets na ibubuk. Kahit sa ang airline kayo magpunta, ang makikita niyo sa ticket na oras is yung local time kung saan yung location na pinanggalingan nila at saka yung location na pupuntahan nila. So, yung destination nila. Para hindi kayo nalilito. Okay? So, just click on 2 p.m. Hanapin nyo lang si 2 p.m. Ayan. So, 17 hours makikita nyo. Si Google Calendar kasi very smart yung Google Calendar natin. Pag alam niya na nag-click ka ng time zone, yung secondary time zone, alam niya na flight yun agad. So, makikita nyo, di ba, naka-highlight siya ng red kasi ibig sabihin may mali. Okay? So, ikocompute niya agad pag nilagay mo ng 2 p.m., automatic nakita nyo nag-change to siya to Feb 15. Yun yung sinasabi natin na plus 1. Ibig sabihin, dadating siya sa Madrid the next day. Okay? Hindi siya dadating sa Madrid ng Feb 14. Dadating siya sa Madrid ng Feb 15, 2 p.m. Okay? And then, ang ating location would be LAX kasi doon naman siya manggagaling. And then, just include all the other details na nandoon sa email niya which is yung flight number niya, Terminal 2, Seat 4A. So, click on save. And then, makikita na nyo na yan, Joran. Ayan na siya. You might ask, Mia, bakit ang nakasulat dyan 9pm to 5am? Di eh, ba 2pm yung nilagay mo? The reason kung bakit 9pm to 5am is because our primary, primary time zone sa ating Google Calendar is naka-PST. So, sinasabi niya dito sa view na to na 9pm ka umalis PST time, dadating ka sa Madrid 5am PST time din. Pero pag click mo yung event na yan, if you click on the details of the event, it will show you kung ano yung time zone, yung oras talaga ng dating mo, local time dun sa Madrid. Okay? Hindi natin kailangan pahirapan yung sarili natin. All we have to do is just duplicate again and we already know how to do that. Let's just click on event, hit on options, choose duplicate, and then ibabalik tad lang natin itong title ng event natin to Madrid, to LAX. Okay? And then palitan natin yung location natin to Mad. And then ito naman tayo sa oras na... Since ang duplicate tayo, papalitan natin yung oras niya. So, ang sabi niya, Friday siya dadating. So, just click on this date. Click natin yung Friday, ang flight niya. Okay? And then, ang oras na sinabi niya sa email, aalis siya ng 12.20pm. And yung 12.20pm na yon is Madrid time. So, we have to change the time zone. Okay? Just click on time zone ulit. Ire-reverse lang natin sila. Okay? And then, click on OK. So, Feb 18, Madrid time at 12.20 p.m. And then, ang arrival time niya sa LAX is 4 p.m. Makikita naman natin sa ticket na walang nakalagay na plus 1. Hindi siya katulad nung papunta may plus 1 tayo. So, hindi dapat siya naka Feb 19. You should put it ng Feb 18. Okay? 
pag naayos mo na yan, ayos na yung time zone, you just hit on save. And then, andun na yung ating flight details. And that's how you input international flight details in the Google Calendar for your client. Now that you've seen kung ano yung mga different scenarios na ginagawa natin as virtual executive assistants for our client, you can definitely apply now as a Athena virtual assistant. Or if not, you can even start your own career as your own virtual assistant for your own company. Start your own freelancing career and work from home and earn so much. <laughs> But if you decide to join us here at Athena Executive Assistant, and we are so excited and looking forward to have you as one of our Athenians, here are the benefits that you are going to get. The first benefit that we are going to talk about is your sweldo, syempre. Yun naman ang pinaka-importante sa lahat. That's why we are working very hard. So how much are you going to earn if you become an Athena Executive Assistant? you will earn as much as 35 to 45,000 pesos a month and that sweldo increases yearly. The nice thing also with our salary is we get our salary every week, every Monday. That's why here in Athena, it's always happy Monday for all of the Athenians. You will get your salary through Payoneer. So just create a Payoneer account and link a valid ID to your Payoneer account and also link your bank account or your Gcash and you will get your salary there. Another very important benefit that we are all excited about is HMO or health card. Athena has partnered with Avega to provide us with our health card or HMO. At pinakamaganda dyan sa lahat, we are going to get our HMO on our second week pa lang sa training plus a free one dependent. At hindi lang yon, you can even add unlimited number of dependents to your HMO pero yun lang, you have to shoulder it by yourself and it will be salary deducted. But wait, there's more. Hindi lang yan HMO, but you can also even reimburse your medicine purchases. We also have dental benefits and optical benefits, and we also have psychiatric benefits. Or pwede kang mag schedule for, with a psychiatrist if you want to talk to someone. And ang pinaka favorite din ng karamihan is yung pet support program. Ano ba yung pet support program? You will be able to reimburse your vet expenses. Pwede mong reimburse yung mga gamot na nabili mo, operation, visits to the vet, emergency cases. Basta anything that has to do with your pet's medical expenses, you can definitely reimburse it. And it doesn't just cover cats and dogs, pero kahit ano pa yung pet mo as long as you have official receipts seats from your veterinary, you can definitely reimburse it. So if you're interested to apply and become an Athena Executive Assistant, I will post all the links to the application form and every other detail in the caption down below. For my next episode, I'm going to talk about Gmail or Google Mail features that you need to learn if you want to become a virtual executive assistant. So if you want to learn more about being a virtual executive assistant, just hit the subscribe button down below and also the notification button so you will get alerts once I have new videos posted in my channel. You can also follow me on my TikTok account because I post a lot of content about being a virtual executive assistant there. So you can learn more about it through my TikTok. You can also follow me on my Instagram, my Facebook page. Um, I will link everything. I will post the link everything in the caption down below. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching this part 3 of our Google Calendar tutorial. I hope you learned a lot. So thank you everyone. Keep safe and enjoy the rest of your day.